Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this timeline therapy intervention. We've already cleared out anger and sadness in the first session. We've come back today and we've repeated the negative emotion of anger and sadness and we've released that once again. And now we want to release the negative emotions of fear, hurt and guilt. As we do this work, we're also tracking Nini's heart rate variation. We're observing what's taking place in the heart. And using this heart math technology, we're making the invisible visible. You have a heart. It's been pumping since day one. <laughs> For some of you, it might have stopped or felt like it stopped. And what we can see on the screen is we can see in real time Nini's heart rate variation and also the beats per minute. We know that these negative emotion and these states of stress do impact our heart and our heart rate variation. In addition, what you can see here in the green bar is we're tracking coherence. And coherence is the communication between the head and the heart. And what we've learned is there's nine times more amounts of information sent from the heart to the head than from the head to the heart. And the heart is one of the first things that's developed as the baby is in the womb. So very important that we understand what's happening to the heart when we release negative emotions. Negative emotions like anger directly impact the heart. So it's always nice to see what happens before an intervention. And if you haven't seen part one or part two, go back and view the beats per minute and the heart rate variation. And it does look like Nini was about to have a heart attack. Now, coming into this session, we've already released the negative emotions of anger and sadness two times, and we can automatically see that the heart rate variation is more stable and the beats per minute are more stable. In addition, that communication between the head and the heart and the heart and the head is stabilised and the coherence is a lot better. It's remained in the green zone for the majority of the time. So, Nini, let's begin and remove the emotion of fear. Are you ready to go? Yep. Is it all right for your unconscious mind for you to release this fear today and for you to be aware of it consciously? Yes. What is the root cause of this problem of you are not good enough? The first event which, when disconnected, will cause the problem to disappear. If you were to know, was it before, during, or after your birth? After. If you were to know, what age were you? It's actually before. Mm -hmm. It was before. Was it in the womb or before? Before. Was it in a past life or passed down to you genealogically? Past life. And how many lifetimes ago? 44. 44. Excellent. Now, I'd like to ask your unconscious mind to float up in the air, above your timeline, into the past, and right down into the event 44 past lives ago. Looking through your own eyes and when you're there, Notice the emotion that's present. Yeah, the fear of making a mistake. That fear. Was fear, yeah. Fear. Excellent. Now, floating back up above the timeline and go to position number three. Well before the beginning of the event and any of the events that led to that event, and turn and look towards now. Ask your unconscious mind what it needs to learn from the event, the learning of which will allow you to let go of the emotions easily and effortlessly. Your unconscious mind can preserve the learnings so that if you need them in the future, they'll be there. When you have your learnings, tell me what they are. So the positive learning for me is that as long as I stay focused, I can shoot the heart. So I see myself like, you know, doing those sword competitions. So... I think the positive learning for me is that as long as I stay focused, I'm definitely going to win. And positive learning for me is that don't let the fear to control my life. I control the fear. So I have to be another way around. As long as I go and try it, and the fear will be conquered. And another positive learning for me is that I need to stay focused. It's very, very important. Once I make a decision what I want to do, I need to stay focused. Don't think about something else. Because if I think of something else, it will 
mislead me. So the positive learning is that I have to stay focused, have to stay focused and enjoy life, enjoy that moment, living the present, because only the focus will lead me to the success. And follow my leads. I think the positive learning is that you know. I am my own leaders, so spend time with the people that will help me to become a better person. Grow together with those people, those leaders. So positive learning for me is that open to some opportunity, open to the social life. Don't stuck in my own world. So you know, I have to be more flexible and. Interacting with with different people, be open to it, to talk about things and respect others' people' different point of view.、Um, so I think is that、uh, being an arrogant in a good way, you know, still making friends,、um, having that belief in myself, but also you know making friends. So I think that's very important because the more. Friends, I make or you know connection I have that actually can create more abundance in myself in my life.、Um, it's really interesting.、Uh, I think I think that part of the learning is that the most the most important those people in my life that I should have the great relationship with is my children and my husband. You know, I and that will help me to become. Even better person because I enjoy being a mom, being a wife, being you know part of their life, and because of that, I should have no fear because everything will work out the way I want it. And once because the house is the foundation, so as long as this foundation is solid, is strong, I should have no fear. Yep. Excellent. Now, where is the emotion? Oh, it's gone. Good. Where did it go? Oh, hello.、Oh. Disappear. <laughs> That's right. Now, just float right down into the event and notice that the emotion has disappeared. Is the emotion totally gone? Yeah, it's gone. Good. Come back up to position number three. Now, come back to now above your timeline. Only as quickly as you can let go of all the fear on the events, all the way back to now. Assume position three with each subsequent event. Preserve the learnings and let go of the fear all the way back to now. When you're done, float down into now and come back into the room. <sighs> okay, welcome back. Yep. Okay, another big one. Yes. How do you feel this time round? Mm. Yeah, it's really. Oh, first of all, my tear is very salty.、Um, <laughs> it's really interesting to to actually see those connection, like the dots. Because I remember one of the thing, like I always say that. Oh, you know, I don't enjoy being a mom. You know, I don't feel like I'm mom material. But actually, you know, when you look back, some of the positive learning, positive learning. I don't know why come out is like. You know, enjoy. I think is that living in the present、mm-hmm. and enjoying the role I have. So that kind of embracing each role, because each role bring different challenges. But once I embrace those different role, I actually can having more peace in myself. Excellent. And can you remember any event in the past where you used to be able to feel that old emotion? And go back and notice if you can feel it, or you may find you cannot. No, I see myself really calm and can handle a lot of things. Good, come back、yeah. to now. And I want you to go out into the future to an unspecified time in the future, which, if it had happened in the past, you'd have felt inappropriate or unwarranted fear. And notice if you can find that old emotion, or you may find you cannot. Okay. Hmm. Oh, good. 
Okay, excellent. Now, I want to pass you my phone <laughs> and take a look. That was at eight minutes into the intervention yesterday when we started to release the emotion of anger. Mm-hmm. Now, have a look at the screenshot in my hand yep. and now have a look what's happening on the screen real time yep. with the beats per minute of the heart. Yeah. So what you can see is that currently it's fairly stable yep. from around about 80 to 90 beats per minute. Mm-hmm. There's a couple of peaks there heading up to 100, but fairly stable between 80 and 90. What you can see on the screenshot here in my hand is that yesterday the heart rate variation was really fast and really dramatic. At eight minutes yesterday, the heart was racing from anywhere above 100 all the way down to below 50 in a fraction of a second. Mm. Yeah, that was it looked like, yeah, having a heart attack or something. Like really high. Mm. So what, what does that tell you? Just in 24 hours, what does that tell you between what this looked like yesterday and what you can see on the screen uh, now? Definitely more intense yesterday, you know, before before or in the between of, you know, during the sessions, mm-hmm. you know, having that intensity of, you know, like I say, the negative self-talk. Um but I feel like today, like I said, you know, those voices not there anymore. So I actually feel more peace today and ease, mm. you know, more relaxed, which is just good. Now, take a look here in in my hand. We're having a look at when we're releasing the emotion of anger yesterday. And you can see that that level of coherence is really low. Yeah. So it means that the communication is really poor between the head and the heart. Mm. Really low. It's redlining. Yeah, pretty much. And here you can see today it's staying in the green zone for the Mm. majority of the time. And remember, the heart sends nine times more messages to the brain than the brain sends to the heart. Yeah. And what it says is that coherence level is really high today. Yeah. So how do you feel in terms of mental and emotional clarity? How are you feeling at this present moment? I feel at the moment to me it's like I think there's more way to do things like to like at the moment i feel this there's more alternative more mm-hmm. options mm-hmm. like yesterday to me i feel like my brain just stuck in one thing, so like couldn't get it out but now i feel like okay he's actually you know there's different approach there's more options that i can do and i think one message for me is that i need to take it easy don't be too rush does that make sense it does. Like, you know, take it a little bit easy. Don't be too rushed and too hard on yourself. You push too hard. Excellent. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, let's move on to the negative emotion of hurt. Is it all right for your unconscious mind for you to release this hurt today and for you to be aware of it consciously? Yeah. What is the root cause of this problem of you are not good enough? The first event, which when disconnected, will cause the problem to disappear. If you were to know, was it before, during, or after your birth? After. Oh, before. 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 Was it in the womb or before? Before. Was it in a past life or passed down to you genealogically? Past life. And how many lifetimes ago? Twelve. Twelve. Now, I'd like to ask your unconscious mind to fly up in the air, above your timeline, into the past, and down into the event twelve lifetimes ago. Right into position number four. Yeah. Looking through your own eyes, and when you're there, notice the emotion that's present. Yeah, I feel hurt. I feel not being wanted. Hurt, not Mm. wanted. Yeah. Now float back up above the timeline and go to position number three. Well before the beginning of the event, or any of the events that led to that event, and turn and look towards now. Ask your unconscious mind what it needs to learn from the event, the learning of which will allow you to let go of the emotions easily and effortlessly. Your unconscious mind can preserve the learnings that if you need them in the future, they'll be there. When you have your learnings, tell me what they are. I think the positive learning for me is that um, I come to this world is because the God thinks like, you know, I have some certain purpose, so I'm, I am wanted. Um, positive learning for me is that I shouldn't take other people's emotional baggage on myself. So... Remember, so the positive learning for me is always need to remember that I always need to love myself first before other people can love me. And always believing myself that I have 
having that self worth. And the positive learning is also that,、um, you know, throughout the time, the more I learn, the more knowledge I have. I actually gonna become more knowledgeable. I actually bring more value to the society, to the world. That bring me even more worthy and valuable to the world. And because of that. I am wanted because people want my knowledge, want the experience I have because it's important. So, anything else? I think the positive learning also for me is that self pity is not helping. So instead of self pity, I should just you know having that. Encourage、uh, having that encouragement and you know that confidence and motivation in myself to moving forward because nobody gonna come and save me except myself. So remember, another positive learning is that you know whatever what I'm doing, always learn. You know, get those knowledge and become the best I can. <clears throat> I always have the resource that I. I always can have the resource that I need. So, ask for help if I don't understand. Go and ask for help. Bring more value in myself because only I add value to myself, and then I can bring those value to other people's. And by then, I know that I'm worth it. I'm wanted, and I am wanted. Excellent. Any other positive learnings for you, for yourself, and for your future?、Um, I think positive learning also for me is that、um, hard,、uh, you know, hurt is part of normal emotions. So talk about it, express it. If anything that make you may I feel uncomfortable, but find a way to solve it,、uh, using that as a as a learning resources. But don't let those holding me back. So, I think again, is that using those element as a part of the story, part of who I am, and make me become stronger and better. So, embracing those, embracing those challenge that has been happening in my life, because that actually made my life having more fun, more story, more things to talk about. You know, than the people who just have a very normal and plain life. So I think I should appreciate those spice in life. Yeah, and、Excellent. see it a different way and appreciate it. Excellent. Now,、yeah. where is the emotion? <sighs> yeah, it's gone. Where did it go? It has disappeared.、Uh, it did. Now just float right down into the vent and notice that the emotion has disappeared. Is the emotion totally gone? Yeah. Good. Come back up to position number three. Now come back to now above your timeline, only as quickly as you can let go of all the hurt on the events all the way back to now. Assume position three with each subsequent event. Preserve the learnings and let go of the hurt all the way back to now. When you're done, float down into now and come back into the room. Yeah. Okay. Welcome back. Yep. Another big one. Yes, it is. More tears coming out of the eyes too. Yep. Excellent. Well, the body releases the emotions in many different ways: urination, perspiration,、mm. defecation, and expiration. Yeah. And these tears that come out of the eyes—they've done research on this—and those tears that you're releasing now will have different chemical properties than a tear of, say, sadness.、Mm. Very different. Okay. Excellent. Now, Nini, can you remember any event in the past where you used to be able to feel that old emotion and go back and notice if you can feel it, or you may find you cannot? Oh no! I feel very tired, actually. <laughs> no. Excellent. Yeah. And I want you to go out into the future to an unspecified time in the future, which, if it had happened in the past, you would have felt inappropriate or unwarranted hurt. And notice if you can find that old emotion, or you may find you cannot. 
No, so so weird. I feel love. Like that's wow. how I feel. I feel love. Wow. Yeah. Well, we say there's only one true emotion on the planet. What is it? Love. Love. And everything else is an illusion of that. And the goal of timeline therapy is to remove all of the negative emotions to clean that emotional slate. And as you release the negative emotions, the one true emotion on the planet, which what is it? Love. It comes back to the surface. Mm. Excellent. Excellent. Mm. Now let's work on the emotion of guilt. Is it all right for your unconscious mind for you to release this guilt today and for you to be aware of it consciously? Yeah. What is the root cause of this problem of? You are not good enough. The first event which disconnected will cause the problem to disappear. If you were to know, was it before, during, or after your birth? After. If you were to know, what age were you? 44. 44? Mm. Anything before that? 40. 40? Mm. Ah. Anything before that? Just ask your unconscious mind. Yeah, I keep coming in numbers 40 or 44. 40 or 44? Mm. Okay, now I know that's going to be a significant emotional event. And what we want to do is we want to get to the root cause. So just ask your unconscious mind, what is the root cause of this? The first event, which when disconnected, will cause the problem to disappear. If you were to know, was it before, during or after your birth? Past life. Past life. That's what I thought. And how many lifetimes ago? 40. 40. Excellent. Now, I'd like to ask your unconscious mind to float up in the air above your timeline mm. into the past and write down into the event 40 past lives ago. Mm. Right into position number four. Looking through your own eyes, and when you're there, notice the emotion that's present. Guilty. Guilty. Mm. Now, float back up above the timeline and go to position number three. Well before the beginning of the event, or any of the events that led to that event, and turn and look towards now. Ask your unconscious mind what it needs to learn from the event the learning of which will allow you to let go of the emotions easily and effortlessly. Your unconscious mind can preserve the learnings so that if you need them in the future, they'll be there. When you have the learnings, tell me what they are. I think the positive learning for me is that I need to um, remember is that, you know, um, I'm a good mom. You know, I'm using all the resources that I can at them um, to provide to the family. So I have to work. So... Positive learning also for me is that which means when I'm working, uh, when I'm not working, I should just treasure those time with my child, with my children's. Um, and I think another positive learning for me is that as a mom, I set up good example for my children's. I always proud of that, you know, teach them that hard working is very important. And another positive learning for me is that I always I need to remember to give myself a credit is that I am a good mom, you know, I doing everything I can um with all the resources that I have. So but also the positive learning is that treasure the moment I have with my child. Um, when I work, I work hard. When I, you know, with the kids, I enjoy the moment being a mom. So there's, so the positive learning for me is that there's no conflict of, there's no conflict of um, mom and business. <laughs> mom and business, so... Uh, positive learning is that I can I can manage that really really well having the balance of it. Um, you know, when kids school at school, I enjoy what I'm doing. When they come home, I just be in the present with them because um, I'm very important to them. So I think that's a positive learning is that I need to I need to enjoy um, the role of being a mother. I think that's the message I get is that I need to, I need to find, I need to find more laughter in this role as a mother. I take it too seriously. So I think, um, 
and like I said, there's no conflict of being a mom and doing the business. So it, it, that that's just the frame I set to myself is not exist. Um, so I think the learning for me is that I want to be the most cool, coolest mom in the world, you know. And having so much fun with them, I think that's the most important learning for me. I want to be the coolest mom and having so much fun and good memory with my children. Excellent. <sighs> yeah. And are there any other positive learnings for you, for yourself, and for your future? Another positive learning for me is that the the, the better I, you know, a person I become, the the, the more impact. I will bring into my children, and then you know they can they become a even better children. They're gonna bring the better income uh, impact to the world. So I need to remember that you know I am that leads to lead them. So very important for me to make sure that I you know in a good state of mental and emotionally health. You know that very very important. So positive learning is that I always have to maintain that good state. Of my, for myself, yeah. Excellent. Any other positive learnings for you, for yourself, and for your future? I think enjoy life, enjoy life, having fun in life, having more laughter, say yes more. You know, like so. I think I need to throw out those a lot of rules in the frame. Um. You know, kids have to like. It's important they have manners, but also don't forget to bring more fun and laughter in the relationship. Yeah, excellent. That's it. Wonderful. Now, where is the emotion? Oh, it's gone. It's gone. Where did it go? Oh, I don't know. In my pillows. <laughs> now, just float right down into the event and notice that the emotion has disappeared. Is the emotion totally gone? Mm. Good. Yes. Come back up to position number three. Now, come back to now above your timeline only as quickly as you can let go of all the guilt on the events all the way back to now. Assume position through with each subsequent event, preserve the learnings and let go of the guilt all the way back to now. When you're done, float down into now and come back into the room. Yep. Okay, welcome back. Yep. Okay, another big one. Yep. Wonderful. Now, when you're ready, can you remember any event in the past where you used to be able to feel that old emotion and go back and notice if you can feel it or you may find you cannot? No. Not at all? I just feel very relaxed. Mm -hmm. Like, feel I want to sleep. Mm. Yeah. Excellent. Now, I want you to go out into the future to an unspecified time in the future, which, if it had happened in the past, you'd have felt inappropriate or unwarranted guilt. And notice if you can find that old emotion, or you may find you cannot. No. I feel I'm, like, really ease. <coughs> now. Excellent. When you're ready, come back to now. Okay, excellent. <coughs> Good, and as you mentioned, being at ease, we can see there that the coherence levels started to improve once again. Okay, how does the heart feel today? I feel very calm. Um, body feel all of a sudden is like... <sighs> It's like a lot of, you know, like when you have so much weight mm -hmm. and like now all the weight just like pulling off mm -hmm. and it made you feel very sleepy. That's how I feel. I feel like oh, I can have a sleep. Mm. Well, they say that guilt is a very heavy emotion. Mm. And for people who carry a lot of guilt, it's very hard for them to judge their subjective body weight. So an example of that is, is let's say if you were to step on the scales today and your weight was 45 kilos, people who carry a lot of guilt, they might say, you know what, I believe my body weight is 50 kilos or 55 because it feels so heavy in the body. Mm. 
Mm. And just as you've explained it now, a lot of people say, I feel like the weight of the world is no longer on my shoulders. Mm. Sometimes people feel really weighed down by guilt, a heavy emotion. Okay, well, what we need from you now, Nini, is to take a rest. We've gone through five major negative emotions today. Yeah. It can be quite tiring. It can be tiring or it can be energising. Everybody Mm. does it a little bit different. So we've released anger and sadness yesterday. Mm -hmm. We released anger and sadness again today, followed by fear, hurt and guilt. And what I want you to do now is to have a rest for 24 hours. We'll come back tomorrow. We'll continue the intervention. And what's really important is you now listen to your body. If you feel like you've got a ton of energy, go for a walk. If you feel like you've lost your energy and your battery's flat, then follow the advice from your unconscious mind and go have a rest. Mm -hmm. And what we know is it takes about two weeks for the integration period to take place. By the time you send these new thoughts to your heart, Once you start to communicate those new feelings throughout your body, and as you start to take new actions, then incrementally you'll make improvements day after day, and the integration period takes up to about two weeks. So enjoy your rest, and we will see you on our next session. Thank you.